fourth of four games that we're going to handicap here, Mo. We've already touched on three Bears, Lions, Bucks, 49ers, and Rams, Seahawks. And if you missed any of our bets in real time, be sure to check those out in the Lions Discord channel. The link is over at thelines.com in the top right hand corner. And despite me mentioning Mo's up and down stretch over the last few weeks. We're having a really good season and I beat the closing number here, 25 and 12 with spreads and totals. So if you've been watching and listening to the show, you've definitely been having a profitable NFL season. And Mo, the fourth game that we're going to discuss, Bills and Jets. Buffalo firing Ken Dorsey earlier in the week, offensive coordinator after losing on Monday Night Football because they had 12 men on the field after the Broncos And Lutz missed the field goal at first. That 12th man was DeMar Hamlin, ironically. And now Buffalo is a touchdown favorite at home against the utterly terrible Zach Wilson-led New York Jets. So how are you betting this one? Unfortunately, again, I am, as my buddy said when we were talking about this game, putting my clown suit back on and betting (laughs) the Buffalo Bills. Um, yeah, they just continue to destroy themselves with turnovers and penalties, but then every week you look at the EPA numbers and the grading numbers, and they all love the Bills. So, I mean, yards per play, obviously, still very good. They completely flattened Denver in that sense. I think almost plus three. And then, obviously, now facing a, a very strong Jets defense, but You know, we know good offense will beat good defense or at least beat it enough to score some points. I think we can be very confident the Bills are going to score, you know, 17, 20, something like that, even if they have a bad day. I don't know how the Jets are going to do anything on offense in this game. They have a bad quarterback and a bad offense on the road in a tough environment. And, you know, sometimes they're getting some mileage out of things like, you know, Zach Wilson scrambling has been getting them some yards here and there while you have a Buffalo team that doesn't really ever blitz uh, just wants to sit back and let the front guys get pressure. So I don't think there's going to be a lot of rushing lanes for Zach Wilson. He's going to need to find lanes to throw the ball basically against this bills defense. I don't trust him to do that. We know he will make mistakes and misreads. He keeps doing it week after week and you have just a jets offense here that, I mean, dude, they have one touchdown in the past four games, literally four NFL games, where the other team didn't allow them to score. They have one touchdown. I mean, we've seen the Bills up against much better offenses than this. Denver, Tampa Bay, these teams are not moving the ball hardly at all. And like I said, they're much better than what the Jets are running out there, especially when you look at the weapons the Bucks have. I mean, I don't think the Bills will have too much trouble here at home. I'm surprised that the number, I mean, I guess it is up to the key number, but I thought, you know, when it was opening in a lot of spots, seven and a half, eight, I think that's like more where it should be. So once again, going to bet the Buffalo Bills and hope they can completely not sink themselves. (laughs) Easier said than done for sure. But injuries definitely side with the Bills. I'm looking at the practice report for the Jets as of Thursday. Garrett Wilson was on the field for practice, but had an elbow pad on, I think, his right arm. So definitely something to monitor there. It sounds like he was limited. I don't think the official practice report has come out yet. Billy Turner, one of their tackles, also working in the rehab area. He hasn't or didn't practice on Wednesday. Becton was limited on Wednesday. So you're talking about, at the very least, a banged up, Jets offensive line going up against a Bills defensive front with Ed Oliver wrecking havoc and overall they rank fourth in pressure rate. Jets rank first and I will say I think we touched on this when we were handicapping the game to week one and I know that was also with Aaron Rodgers supposed to be on the field for this Jets offense and some betters are clamoring for him to win comeback player of the year. We'll see if he actually comes back but Salah has given Josh Allen a lot of fits So I'm just curious to see what this Bills offense looks like without Ken Dorsey. And you know they have to make a statement. The season is absolutely on the line. We'll touch on the Browns here in a minute. A team that has a lot of question marks offensively with the Deshaun Watson situation and him undergoing season-ending shoulder surgery. Excited to get Zach Jackson's take on that game. But yeah, just a lot of question marks for me on both sides of the ball. I, I will say I 
would probably be most comfortable teasing the Bills down just because of the situational edge. But that's about as far as I can go with it.